Hi, uh, welcome to a new step in the building of my first quad cutter and today I will show how to calibrate your AC. Well, uh, I posted uh, yesterday a video showing that I got a problem with the, this front uh, motors. In fact, uh, probably there was some problem in the AC uh, calibration. So, um, I'm new baby, so I discover everything. So, uh, the idea is to build your own cable, so if you have such a uh, cable to a bar connector, male one ending with the, I don't know, it's JR connector uh, and female one, so, and it's Sunday, and well, you know the theory of Sunday, you don't have the material, but today I was lucky, I've got uh, four like this, so I cut them and I build this uh, cable, you know, so, uh, so you have to uh, take the white, well, the signal, and the blacks, the ground, okay, and you uh, solder for the four uh, ESC if you have a quadcopter together, okay, and uh, this one is ending with the uh, uh, female part. So okay, so the black one ending with the female connector is uh, soldered to the four, uh, ending with the uh, male connector, okay? So, and you do the same uh, uh, for the signal, the white wire, okay? Uh, this one for the female uh, solder, and use each string to protect everything to uh, the four associated with the male one, okay? Ground and signal. You have to remove, it's very important, uh, the plus 5 volts, okay, use some electrical tape to isolate everything, okay, don't use it because if, when you will plug to your receiver, you can cook your receiver, okay, so when you have such cable, uh, you have to plug it into the channel of your throttle, for me it's channel 3, okay, I'm connecting here, the signal on the left, the ground on the right, okay, and you need to power your receiver. So I use uh, an external ESC to power. I don't have your back uh, uh, plug, so I use an ESC and I plug it in channel 8. Okay, so this one is to power on your receiver, and I'm connecting this special do it yourself cable on channel 3. And of course, I will connect the four. US ESC on this cable, okay? So now uh, the step is to uh, uh, power on your uh, ESC. So I've got a TDIN plug there. So, okay, it's connected. And when I will turn on the C switch, it will power on the receiver. But the first step is to uh, make the throttle calibration you have to start your radio with a throttle on maximum value, okay? So, I will uh, start the receiver now and start the transmitter and you will hear a beep. You hear two beep, it means that he's waiting is waiting now the second the second step is to push down okay it means that it's it's done now okay i will restart again the operation it should be calibrated okay i will restart again Sorry, and check. We we'll start again. Plug. Okay. Pull maximum values. Start the receiver. Okay. Now it's done. 
it's okay, you can turn off the receiver. Okay. And now to checking, I will restart again the receiver, put throttle down. It's binding and you will see that all the motor now are spinning correctly. Okay, it's perfect. Thank you, bye bye.